Hey everyone, Robbie, your content and community manager here, and today we're exploring everything that the Eddy desktop app has to offer. From our five different Eddy modes for rough cuts, podcasts, and AM B-roll logging, to the blazing fast upload speeds that gets your footage ready to go in just minutes. And I'll tell you all about it in just four minutes. Let's do it. Now that our desktop app is officially out of beta and into Eddy V2, it's time to do a deep dive into all the functionalities you might be missing if you haven't downloaded it yet. You can download the app on our website for either Mac or PC, or follow the link below. Eddy for Mac and PC is closer to your workflow. It imports your media blazingly fast and gets you editing in Eddy swiftly, then allows you to export to your NLE in one click. Hours and days of work is now just reduced to minutes. And again, you can follow the link just below to download it and start playing with it for free to see its magic. Off the bat, you may be wondering why we are prioritizing a desktop version of Eddy over the web app. Well, we know that video professionals have big files. I know that, you know that, the SSDs piled on your desk at this very moment know that as well. And with large files and a mediocre internet connection, you are limited by the speeds of your Wi-Fi, which could take hours to upload. With our desktop app, your files transcode locally, meaning that we create smaller proxies, which means less wait times, and getting to editing in Eddy way faster. Logging into the desktop app is a simple Google login, which will take you to your browser to connect to your account. When you're in the app, click Create New Project. That's where you'll see the current models we have for Eddy. I know we got a ton of modes, but Eddie's personality was just too broad to pigeonhole into one mode. We had to let him fly. So let me walk you through the menu. And for every mode, I'll link the accompanying tutorial in the top right, right over here, for you to explore further. Eddie supports start time code and a whole range of frame rates and codecs, with additional support coming for more proprietary models coming soon. Let's start with our first mode, Rough Cut Mode. Rough Cut Mode creates a great story using a framework that Eddie crafts for you. Then you create your rough cut chapter by chapter according to the framework. Rough Cut Mode pairs well with interview footage, talking head style interviews, and documentaries. Next up is A and B roll logging. A roll mode takes your batches of up to 10 raw interviews and cuts out the silences and interviewer questions, organizes them by speaker and category, and creates string outs for every single one of those bins, making finding the perfect clips a breeze. B roll mode analyzes and organizes your B roll according to categories and shot type, and adds rich metadata to every clip, which means finding the best B roll no longer includes scrolling through an endless bin. Original Eddy is our original model, which is very open-ended, and you can talk to your transcript like you would do in ChatGPT. You know, find me the best sound bites on a certain topic, find me the funniest moment from Jennifer, find the exact moment where somebody says a certain phrase, you know, you get the gist. Podcast Eddy is where you can upload your long-form podcast, and Eddy will sync the cameras and automatically switch the cameras according to who is speaking. This exports directly to your NLE so you can wrap up your podcast edit in minutes compared to hours. You can also create social media clips directly from your podcast in this mode once Eddie creates your podcast cut by asking Eddie to craft some clips for you. You can be as vague or specific as you want here on the content. Ask for five videos of the best moments or a specific moment that you think will kill on Instagram Reels. Finally, we have social media clips. In this mode, Eddie cuts silences and prioritizes quick cuts. Perfect for the TikTok audience that has their brain cells fried already, and that includes me. Here, you can also add intro and outro cards, logo overlays, and export vertical videos right out of Eddie. Now, once you use one of these modes and create something you're ready to bring into your NLE, that's where the desktop app really shines. Upon export, both Premiere and Final Cut exports will create a draggable project file that you simply just drag and drop into your bin, and bam, your project is loaded. And Resolve users, don't think we forgot about you. We've created a plugin that automatically sends your cuts in Eddy directly to your open projects. So essentially, less than one click. Getting a cut from Eddy to your NLE has never been easier. All right, so we're running out of time, so I'll rattle off some quick tips for you about the desktop app. Want to change the name of your project? Just click the project name at the top of the app and change away. Want to change your video frame size? There's a button for that. Want to hide your projects? There's also a button for that. Want to see your video's metadata? Yep, there's a button for that. Want to see more of your video player window? Not a button, but there's a slider for that. All right, that's the tour. I hope you enjoyed yourself and I'll see you in the app. Not physically, but you know, spiritually or something. I'm Robbie, your content and community manager, and I'll see you in the next one.